हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल ऑल विद टेक एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एडिशन इन द डिटेल विद द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ सिनेरियो सो इन द लास्ट सेशन आई हैव रिकॉर्डेड फॉर द एडिशन बेसिक डिटेल्स दैट मींस द बेसिक ओवरव्यू व्हाट इज एडिशन एंड why we use addition and why it's provided the sap and uh, what are the replication timing okay so the last time we have created the three different different addition so i would like to perform some uh, uh transaction to create for the addition so let's have a look what are the addition we have created last time so go to monitor addition so basically guys let me okay recap again okay so what is addition and why we are going to use the addition right so the addition is basically <coughs> it's a stock it control the validity of your uh, financial object which is profit center cost center and accounts and internal order uh, uh, so uh, in erp you enter the date from date is uh, say example first jan uh, 2020 okay and and date is by default is 9999 right so here in sap mtg uh, the addition concept is the date the date of your profit or cost or accounts will be control from your addition so when you define the addition whatever starting date you have uh, you have given that date will be for your uh, profit center of center and what is the main purpose of sap to provide addition the if you are in january 20 period and you have go live in april 20 period so you have to define the objects uh, before the go live so that's a facility we can say like which is provided by sap under uh, the sap mdg that you can create addition for the april month in advance and you can upload all the your uh, financial objects okay for like profit center cost center accounts so in the april uh, month and when you are close to april or before uh, before uh, performing any open transaction like conversion or migration activity so you can okay you can uh, uh, release the addition or or you can replicate the data into erp so it means uh, your mdg is your source system and target system is erp system so the data will be replicated from the mdg to the erp system so all the objects will be available in the erp system so this is the main purpose of addition and now we will see when we create uh, some change request for the addition so we will okay, come to know what is the difference in the uh, on different type of addition so if you see here after so you can see here we have may june july which we are going to use may june and july so this is my excel sheet which i am maintaining so may is created for first may 19 and the replication time is manually started after release of addition so we will see the impact how what happened when we select manually started after release of addition okay so basically the manually started after release of addition so once the change request is activated right you can manually start the replication for that uh, 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 for that cr which is created under that addition okay say example 
you have created uh, the CR in addition May 19 okay so which once this is active uh, uh, once this is in the final approved status then you can manually start the release of uh, uh, the change request and uh, you can replicate it that one so and same for the June and for July but for June we have on final approval of change request so once the request uh, change request is in the final approved status then your uh, uh, CR will be automatically replicated so it will immediately trigger the replication so you don't need to perform any manual uh, uh, action on the uh, change request and for 19 July this July 19 selecting each change request so this means uh, when you select uh, this one in your uh, uh, addition so and then you create a change request for that addition uh, say July 19 and July 19 having selected any change request so in the change request you will see these two options so you have to select either manually uh, start after release of addition or on final from the change request so this will see in the uh, example and then after that once we tested this one okay so each like how it's work and uh, and uh, and we'll see the date then we release one of the addition and we'll see what impact on when we release and once the uh, once it is released okay then what action we perform suppose we perform any changes on the existing a uh, 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 change request which addition is released so what will happen for the validity when we create uh, any changes for that CR so we'll see now so let's start first uh, so first test cases So now I will create one profit center first. Click on new and select the change request type. For this, I am just selecting create profit center and addition. I will choose May 19. Click OK. So now you can see here first uh, when I selected May 19, it's automatically picked manually start after release of addition because this was selected when I create the addition. For more detail, you can watch my last video for addition. Uh, the I think this is session eight, which was created for the addition basic detail, and uh, uh, which was mentioned all these details there, right? and uh, and the valid from date is first may 19 and you can see the from addition may 19 and it's showing the higher addition uh, addition period okay so so addition one controlling area and profit center I can say S in zero one F one zero one piece perform the check no error found submit refresh and finalize processing 
because I have to approve this CR. Yes. So if you want to know the basic detail how to create and what are the workflow is performing here and how workflow is working, you can see my all the profit center cost center videos for the profit center and profit center hierarchy and profit center group same for cost center okay so this one is final check approved i will create the second one and second is for addition june 19 what is the CR number 589 for this one the CR number is 589 addition 2 so now you can see here that application timing on final approval of change request so if you see here on final approval of change request which I have given on the addition uh, when I created the addition so that time I have given the uh, selected application timing on final approval change request and valid from date is 1st June 19 so if you see the from addition is uh, June 19 which is your addition which you have selected and to addition is July 19 so this is the higher one in the system we have for now select the controlling area And profit center S102, S102, PC, test 2. Perform the check, no error, submit, refresh, final processing, refresh, approve validation perform the validation yes refresh and final check approve so my second second CR is also created 590 for the second addition now we'll create the last one new addition July 19 addition 3 now you can see here the replication timing manually started after release of addition okay so here now you have to uh, select either on final approval or manually started because when I create the addition that time I have given selected and each change request so which means when you are going to select July 19 so you you have to always select the replication timing either manually started after release of addition or on final approval change request so I will show you the difference in both what is the difference so basically I will tell uh, I want to tell you the manually started after release of addition so once the change request is in approved state or final approved status so you have to replicate manually okay click on the uh, menu replication or uh, or through the program you can uh, 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 manually replicate the CR and second one is on final approval of change request so this one is once the final approval is done uh, or done and the state is changed to final approval then the immediately uh, immediately it will trigger the replication so you don't need to manual uh, manually start the replication in on final approval or change request okay so we'll select this one this one because we have already both cases right so for this case I'm selecting manually started after release of addition and valid from date is first July 19 so it's it's coming from the addition because in addition I have uh, given the validity from first July 19 for the July 19 addition so now you can see here 
two addition there is no two addition if if i have in the system in uh, for the future say like uh, uh, october 19 so i will see, i can see here two addition is october 19 okay i will select the controlling area and enter the profit center one zero three F one zero three you see and dash three perform the check no errors submit refresh finalize processing refresh perform the validation refresh okay so now this one is also the final check approved so as per our the three addition we have created the three change request with the different different uh, addition this is five nine one <coughs> so now I go in the search and will search my profit center based on controlling area. This is my controlling area. Search. Okay. So if you see for my uh, my valid form, yes, S one zero one. S one zero two, S one zero three. So these are my three uh, change request and profit center is created. So now it's in the final approval status. So let's take first example. So this one the manually start after release of addition. Okay. So this is a five eight nine change request and uh, this is a S one zero one profit center, right? So first check the checkbox and I want to see this replication is done or not for this one so just click on the replication status so I can see that replication is run or not for this one because I have not submitted replication and as per uh, as per this uh, manually start of release of addition because now our uh, change request for profit center is in the final approval status okay so we can manually submit the replication for this one so now you can see there is no status it means there is no replication is submitted manually right so let's go back okay so now I will click on the replicate Select the target system. First, run the test run only to check that how many uh, records are selected. So, if you see, there is a S one zero one is selected here automatically, right? So, now click on the replicate. So, now the replication is done and we can see the status can see the status just go and refresh I can click on refresh <coughs> sorry controlling area search so now if you see now s101 if i see the replication status now it will show the replication because this was done manually so you can see the replication uh, status now okay but anyway the status is failed okay so the replication error is occurred so uh, this record is not replicated into the target system okay so uh, 
uh, you can check the display log and fix the error okay so this is the just only one example now now we will check for the second example s102 so s102 if you see here on final approval of change request so which means we don't need to submit replication manually as we did for the s101 right so now i will check the status replication status and i can see the status because it it's uh, immediately trigger when the status is changed to the final approval so now you can see the status here right okay so okay, this is also an error because of there some setting is not working because this uh, uh, practice environment right okay so now let's check for the third scenario this one so uh, this one is we select in each change request but in each change request we have selected manually started after release organization if you see here the replication status this is not changed and there is no status ok because we have not submitted manually replication for this one so if we click on the replication then it will trigger the replication click target system so you can see 103 is and replicated so one selected object is replicated but anyway it will again go in the array status because of the missing setting okay so we can if we check the status replication status so we can see the replication status so okay this is clear i think right so the replication timing how it works and how the validity is maintained based on addition so so in organization you you may have like uh, depend on the business requirement how they want to have the addition uh, some organization they have like uh, yearly based addition that means first Jan 20 to 31st December uh, 20 they have only one addition so in in the 2020 year whatever profession to cost and account will create it it will go uh, under the 2020 years okay and and the validity will start from first and uh, 2020 okay so next year then any new cost center profession is going to create then it will have the first and 2021 like this and some organization they have like uh, a period basis for uh, they have the 12 addition for for a year January February like this okay so if they have received the request in January so they will uh, create the uh, object financial object in the January period and then they have to release the addition because otherwise it will be open and by mystically if user is uh, selected then those uh, uh, the, those the new uh, financial object will be also created in the uh, previous edition so that's why we have to as per uh, uh, SAP suggestion we have to always uh, keep open one edition not not multiple right so if you want to define the new one then the next one you can define the new one so before uh, defining new one just make sure the existing one uh, there should no there should not be any open pending request okay if any pending request so you can not release the existing one so now we will do the one uh, 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 one scenario perform for the uh, release right so we will release one addition let me just close okay so now if you see okay this is the let me just refresh or well, 
okay so before uh, okay, before doing before performing the release okay i want to create one <coughs> sorry i want to create one uh, profit center but i will not approve that one so i want to show you the impact on the release level when you release the addition what will happen so you have to just make sure when you release the addition NS104 NS104 PC Just 4 Perform the check No error submit I just click on submit And I'm, and I'm not approving This profit center So Now again back to the addition screen so if I refresh this one okay in May 19 now you can see the pending change request is 1 so those addition you are going to release if they have any pending change request so you cannot release those addition so what is the meaning of release the addition release say example you are in the january 20 period uh, january 19 okay so let's take example of this one okay you are in the may 19 period and the next is june 19 so may 19 you should not have opened this one for the user selection right so now if i go in to create new profit center so I can if I select change request I can select the May 19 right okay but now I am the June 19 period so what you have to do first you have to run the validation to check any error or not okay so validation is still running just refresh validation for addition and entry starters and close ok so now what you can do for this one you can change the status ok the first thing you can see the display change request how many change requests under this addition ok normally we don't need to check ok this one uh, so if any pending so so we can review that one and we can send to the user either of this one should be withdraw or approve otherwise you cannot close the, uh, you cannot release the addition so if I'm going to release this one so first this is mark for release and second this is release so this is the like you can say the soft uh, soft release and hard hard release soft release means if you click on this one mark for release okay now status will be the mark for release okay but may 19 you cannot select now in the change request type <coughs> <coughs> so if i if i refresh and click on new Select change request. You cannot see May 19 because it's set for mark for release, right? So that's why. So okay, this is the one impact you see on the uh, CR level. 
for the addition right so now if I perform yeah if you have set mark for release you can set back to in process status but once you release you cannot set back to in process status right so that's why if you are not make sure that uh, I want to release finally release then you can set mark for release it means user cannot select uh, this addition when they are performing any financial object activity profit center cost center accounts or internal whatever so in the change status I will select release so yeah now you can see addition may 19 cannot be released yet change request is open so you can see here one change request is open so you cannot release this addition so what you have to do you have to in this request or you have to withdraw or and finally approve this request so this change request is locked by yeah so click on finalize processing and approve so now the status is final check approved if i go here and refresh so now it will be zero it will become zero okay so now what I can do and yeah okay one more scenario uh, one more business scenario it may be for set mark for release because you have some pending change request okay and that takes some time so you you set mark for release because you cannot release until the pending change request is become zero right so mark for release it means for the new coming the new uh, financial object right so user cannot select this addition user have to select now the june 19 which is the next addition right so now it's become zero so i can change data as release so validation for addition it is started let's perform refresh When the status is change release then you cannot set back to in process status or user cannot select may 19 addition in the change of cache screen Validation is running. Let's take some time because the validation is running. will check uh, later the status okay. okay so so now I have set mark as a release so it will be uh, uh, the status it will be released okay now the second thing if I check here and definitely I cannot see now the May 19 okay so now I will search for S101 which is created under the addition uh, May 19 right okay oh, this one and this one is released now I would like to perform 
changes in the description so would like to check what will happen on the uh, valid from date and what will be the valid from date for the uh, first may 19 so let's go for the change so when you perform the change okay you have to select the addition so when in which the next addition i have june so i will select june okay I will change 101 that's it and will perform the check change on profit center as 101 from the check there is no error submit refresh finalize processing refresh and approve yes refresh so now now you can see the valid from date is first june okay so it's become a first june now and and now i will review carry again so you you can see the two records for for this profit center see the profit center is one but the line are two because for each valid from date it will have a separate line here so now if you see uh, this is our first one so first may 19 and when you select the new addition the next addition so the it will end it uh, that one the valid valid to date it will uh, put in the previous uh, addition one so say example if the addition is first may 19 so it will put the valid to date first may 19 or you may define some setting like it may have uh, last day of for the month say like uh, say example uh, 31st 30 or 31st may something okay so this is a new line which having the valid from date first to 19 to the december 9999 so this is by default so if i perform any change on this one so it will again have the new valid from date this will be ended right so this will be suppose if i uh, perform any changes and uh, this addition is like uh, release so i select the july 19 one so what will happen the, uh, for this line the valid from date will be first june same and the valid to date it will be the first june 19 then new line will be added with the first july 19 to uh, to 31st December 999 like this its work so this is the overall concept of the addition let me refresh still it's running yeah yes now it's release status okay so you cannot perform any any changes to your okay, KFC it's freeze now right so so this is all about the addition in the detail with the example and uh, uh, and scenario if you have any query or any doubt for the addition concept so please okay feel free to ask me and okay leave a comment so I will try to reply you as soon as possible thank you for watching my channel and if you have not subscribed my channel so please subscribe my channel and share it
थैंक यू